FNAF has a bunch of animatronics and in this video we have the most difficult animatronic from every single FNAF game. So with that let's get straight into the video, enjoy. For FNAF 1, this is going to be Freddy. Freddy is the most stealthiest animatronic in FNAF 1. The only way to see where Freddy is, is looking for his white glowing eyes. Furthermore, if Freddy gets toward the west hallway and is next toward your door, if you keep the door unlocked whilst checking cameras, Freddy will sneak in your room and kill you instantly. In the later nights, Freddy is the hardest challenge in FNAF 1, as he is by far the stealthiest and the most dangerous animatronic in the game. The other animatronics are nowhere near as dangerous. The only way to die to the other animatronics is not closing the door when they appear. So it's pretty safe to say Freddy is FNAF 1's most dangerous animatronic. FNAF 2, this is going to be Foxy. The reason why Foxy is the most dangerous is that the hole of flashing Foxy with your light can drain flashlight battery, which makes it so you actually need to use the flashlight sparingly. And also for later nights with the puppet, it can be very hard to manage both Foxy and the puppet. But I would wager that Foxy is a little bit more difficult because of the fact that how often he actually appears and how you can't flash Foxy when you put the Freddy mask on. For FNAF 3, this is is going to be Springtrap. Springtrap is the only animatronic that can kill you, so I thought it would be the fairest animatronic to put here. However, the other phantom animatronics are pretty dangerous. However, they all have the same gimmick, whereas Springtrap in the later nights is overall the most toughest animatronics with how often he will move, making him very hard to keep at bay, as even including the other phantom animatronics, Springtrap still prevails as the most dangerous due to how effective he's at moving through the map and pretty much just how deadly he can be if you don't close the event system. And if you've ever tried the nightmare mode on FNAF 3, you know how much of a pain Springtrap can get in the harder nights. For FNAF 3, this is going to be Nightmare. Nightmare is the most deadly animatronic as first of all, he can make fake laughs which can put you off and also make you open the wrong door which can cause a quick death and not only that with Nightmare you have a 8 second timer until you have to spot him with your flashlight. If you fail to do this, not only will he jump scare you but Nightmare will restart your whole game making him just a pain to verse. And he is by far the most aggressive animatronic in the whole game. So in FNAF 4, Nightmare is the hardest animatronic. For sister location, this is going to be Funtime Freddy in the Night 2 level. The reason why I'm putting Funtime Freddy here is overall the level itself is a very good and well designed level and also the fact that how aggro Funtime Freddy gets as the night progresses pretty much as you continue to get rid of all the errors in the security system the more aggressive Funtime Freddy will get which is pretty bad on itself but the problem with Funtime Freddy is how difficult it is to keep him at bay as you get progressively more into the night and if you're not paying attention it can lead to a quick death and not only that but you have to repeat the Ballora section making the whole night really annoying to beat. For FNAF 6, this is going to be Lefty. Lefty is the most dangerous animatronic in this game for various reasons. For the first one, you can actually get Lefty early on in your game if you so happen to buy the $5 animatronic, which is a pretty dumb thing to do, but nonetheless, if you do this, you're pretty much screwed. Not only that, but Lefty is by far the hardest animatronic to salvage, so overall for FNAF 6, Lefty is definitely the most dangerous in the game. For UCN, this is going to be Funtime Foxy. The issue with Funtime Foxy is that basically he can come at any time in the night. If it's 6 a.m., you can pretty much die on the 6 a.m. mark if you don't have your camera on Funtime Foxy's cove, which is very annoying. But the problem with Funtime Foxy is when you have all the other animatronics in the mix, keeping that track on Funtime Foxy can literally lead to a quick death. So it's more so the mechanic of Funtime Foxy makes him by far the most dangerous UCN animatronic. For Help Wanted, this is going to be the plush babies in specifically the hard mode of the um, plush baby level. Level. The reason why they are so difficult to keep at bay is because they look identical to the other plush babies, the only difference being in the eyes and the clothes that the plush babies wear. 
Also, to keep track of three at the same time can be really difficult. And not only that, they will kill you very fast if you're not taking care of them and using the flashlight on them. So overall, the plush babies are just very much a pain to deal with and they make Help Wanted a very hard game to beat. For Security Breach, this is going to be Monty. And the reason why Monty is the hardest animatronic is because he is the fastest animatronic in the game. Yes, Monty is the quickest animatronic, which makes him just a way larger threat than the other ones. Also, just how intimidating the character is, I'm pretty sure Monty is the quickest, which already makes Monty a way larger threat than the other animatronics as they aren't as quick as Monty. However, in the boss fight, for some reason, Monty just forgets how to move and just walks at you. But nonetheless, Monty is the most difficult animatronic in a security breach. For Help Wanted 2, the most difficult animatronic is the Endos. And the reason why they are so difficult is that first of all, you are playing a memory game with one. And not only that, some endoskeletons will start to come towards you as you play this game. So you have to not only balance the uh, memory game, you also need to balance the endoskeletons with the flashlight beacon, which is really hard to do. So those were all the most difficult animatronics in the FNAF series. If you have enjoyed, smash a like, and if you never want to miss out on a future upload, then consider smashing the subscribe button. But until next time, take it easy and goodbye.